binomial theorem. General term is. You know, like his young. Okay, so after finding, after writing the general term for k equals zero, we find the first term, which is that one. For k equals one, we find the second term, which is n x over two. For k equals two, we find the third term, which is n combination two x square over four. Now we can leave them in this form. Yes with the combinations however n combination we are expected to know n combination zero n combination one n combination two as in the next question we need to use their values in a simplified form you would be expected to know the values of n combination zero which is one uh, n combination one which is n and n combination two which is n brackets n minus 1 over 2. You don't need to learn these by heart, but you should be able to devise them. And remember that n combination 0 is the same as n combination n. Think of the Pascal's triangle and the symmetries. n combination 1 is the same as n com combination n minus 1. Generally, n combination k is the same as n combination n minus k. Yes, remember that in a line in a Pascal's triangle, um, the values which are at equal distance from the edges are equal. As I was asked to find the coefficients of x squared and um, I was asked also to find this expansion the first three terms of the expansion, then very likely in the majority of the cases there are these three terms which actually contribute to x squared, to the value x squared. In our case, actually, they are only the second and the third ones. So you see how I grouped uh, and I practically calculated only. I didn't multiply out everything. I just took the, the factors from the two brackets which were multiplied, the terms from the brackets which were multiplied, gives me exactly x squared.